I like sharing ideas. I like sharing ideas that uh, are a bit controversial. I like where people have the idea of whatever they think SEO is or where they think what Google is doing. And I like to be able to present something that might shake that up a little bit. Please help me welcome Mr. Kyle Broom. Bailey's was doing his thing about 600 BC. For perspective, that's about 500 years, or about 150 years before Socrates. He's known as one of the seven scribes. The seven scribes are seven dudes that advanced math, science, or philosophy on their own before Socrates started organizing things. I practiced law for about four years in Virginia. I was a trial attorney doing divorce, custody, and support, and I took a year off was the idea. And that year off turned into five years where uh, I moved to South Korea, and then I landed in South Korea for five years. And while I was there, I started doing web design and development. We were in India at the time, and we ended up getting a shakedown from the police, which effectively all of our employees fled. It kind of folded the business, and so we're hemorrhaging clients. And my brother goes, well, I can take these four clients because he did web design development. I can take these four. And we had just started doing SEO, and we had an SEO team, and they were gone. And so that I could pay the rent next month, I had to learn SEO that day. And so that's what I did. If you study history, if you study math and science and, and philosophy throughout history, you can actually this, this is a common trend. You will see that people take a very simple idea and they apply it in a profound way. Socrates says, uh, I don't know what I don't know. And that's quite simple. Of course you don't. But he said, I can learn by asking questions and I can also teach by asking questions. And he applies that and it turns into the Socratic method. Fast forward about another 100 years and you're sitting at a conference in Chiang Mai with a guy named Kyle Roof who says, Google's algorithm is an algorithm. <laughs> the reason that I get asked to speak at a lot of different conferences, and not just SEO conferences, but also other digital marketing conferences, is that I don't give a standard SEO presentation. So even if somebody isn't necessarily an SEO, they can still get a lot of value out of what I'm talking about. And, and they, can, they can take away things that they can actually apply, even if they're not doing SEO. On the other hand, if somebody is a really hardcore technical SEO kind of person, I can still relate to them. Because some of the knowledge that I'm going to present is going to touch them and they're going to get something out of it as well. So I can reach a pretty broad audience from uh, very technical, very SEO, to I don't know what SEO is at all and I don't even know if I need it. All those people can get something out of my talk and all will enjoy it. A lot of people said, you can't do it the same way today. You can't take the exact same site and put it up and do it in the exact same way because there's all the updates in uh, 2018, all the medic updates, all the updates in 2019. You simply can't do it again today. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rhinoplasty Garden Grove. Then they said, uh, you can't do it in a place with a lot of SEOs because you know there weren't a lot of SEOs out of Plano, I guess. Um, yeah, but you can't do it in a, in a place where you have a tightly packed group of SEOs because Google's really monitoring those SERPs. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you rhinoplasty Chiang Mai. <laughs> and that's how I do SEO. And that's how I beat Google's algorithm. And if it's math, we can observe it. That's Aristotle. We can test it. That's Marconi. It's rational. That's Descartes. We can make theories about it. That's Newton. We can predict what will happen. That's Haley. It doesn't have to be opinion. That's Plato. We can learn by asking you questions. That's Socrates. We don't need the SEO mystics. That's Thales. Google is the most powerful thing that's ever happened. It's, it's, it's truly phenomenal and at times it's overwhelming. How can we do anything with this al algorithm? How can we optimize? How can we rank better? But what's really encouraging is that Google's already been defeated by guys that lived hundreds to thousands of years before Google e ever existed with the idea of taking a simple concept and applying it. And you can do that too because Google's algorithm is just an algorithm. A lot of uh, presentations you see, especially in the SEO industry, are people really simply reading off a slide deck. They're reading off a PowerPoint deck, and it, uh, that's about the least interesting thing you can do. If you're presenting good content, it, 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 it's somewhat insulting to the crowd because the crowd knows how to read already. And then simply reading a slide deck, they can do that on their own. They want to come to a conference to have an experience. You know, to actually see somebody present something. And I think that's what I do. I think I bring an experience to the talk. I'm actually presenting something in a way that's unique uh, and interesting, but then also applicable and, and valuable. Kyle is the most, one of the most funny, most eloquent SEO speakers that I know. 
I think he always nails an interesting story, an interesting mindset together with very practical results and strategies that I can implement for SEO. It was a great presentation. I especially like the, the introduction, hitting us with all the philosophers. So really, really good authority in the first place. And I think till now was one of the best talks I've heard here on the conference. I've seen Cobb present a couple of times over the years and every year I get so much value because every year he comes with new information that is uh, field tested. So being able to see him present over the years and just see like the direction of where he takes his SEO and where his brain goes and the value that he provides and everything he shares is awesome. I hope they got some knowledge that they have never heard, something they haven't heard before. And that's what I hear a lot from the feedback that I get from people is like, I have never thought of it that way or I've never heard somebody do it that way. And then they can take that in and not completely shift the way they're doing SEO, but something that can be easily applied and it can actually be effective. So I want them to walk away feeling inspired and knowing that they can do something that can be very effective so they can do better SEO simply walking outside of, of my talk.